Look at his giant cavity. You know you can heal this cavity? Here's what I mean. The person was told, hey, you need a crown and a root canal on this tooth. This is a baby tooth. It's going to fall out in like three years. I thought, well, let's not do that. They're not wrong. I mean, here's the decay. It's that red and here's the nerve. It's right on top of the nerve. If you remove all the bacteria, all the decay from this tooth, you're going to get in the nerve. You're going to need a root canal. But instead, what if we just put a giant filling on there? What you do there is you clean the margins of the tube. There's no decay around any of the margins or the edges, but you leave a little bit right on top of where the nerve was and you let it be. And what happens is when it's sealed off, it entombs the bacteria, it has nothing to eat. You suffocate or the bacteria and then the tooth heals. You see this underneath? Look at this beforehand, the tooth here, this is where the bacteria was and where the nerve is. You see the nerve in yellow, but look at it now. You see how far away it is. So what it did is the nerve cells, your tooth is alive. The nerve cells actually stimulated the dentin cells to lay down more dentin, more tooth structure, separating itself, healing itself away from where the cavity was. So now this kid got an easy white filling and then ordinarily a crown, a root canal,